Hey, what's going on everybody? Hanging out here in Slinky's new spa. Now, it's really what I consider my masterpiece. This is the biggest pond I've ever built, and I wanted to share with you kind of a video diary about how I got this pond to look the way it is. So when we come back after the open, we're gonna show you how we got to this point. And believe it or not, this is something you can do, folks. I am no stonemason, but I'm pretty psyched on what I've created. So after we do that, we're gonna waterproof it here, and then we're gonna get Slinky into it and see what he thinks of his new pool. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun episode. A good portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Tenor. Hey, what's going on? Just want to give you an update on Slinky's uh, remodeling, if you will. Uh, you can see behind me I've shaped out the pond a bit. And uh, I'm working on some plumbing right now, but this is just a rough shape. Um, I am then going to come in later on today and I'm going to lie down some reinforcing wire so that when I start to mix the concrete and start putting on my scratch coat or my first coat of concrete, um, it's going to help reinforce that so you can actually walk on it without cracking it. Uh, yeah, man. So pretty happy with the size of this pond. Um, this is just the basic shape and then I will get to the detailing when I break out the diamond lath and uh, start making fake boulders and basking perches and things like that. So that's what I'm up to, remodeling good old Slinky's house. And as you probably want to see him, there he is, little Slinks. Not too happy with how things are going on with his home, but he'll be happy soon. Okay, toodaloo. Here's another update. Uh, what we got going on here in Slinky's home and the progress so far. So behind me you see some diamond lath that I've molded and used some um, old landscape block here, just some pavers, and this is going to become uh, stones framing the outside of the pond. There's going to be stones and I'll plant some little weeds or something to grow up in there. I've laid all this old wire, this fencing here that's going to help strengthen the cement when I start to pour it in. It's a lot of work and um, I'm all alone, so it goes slow, but you know, you just get into it, you create, um, you try and imagine yourself as the lizard and how cool it would be to climb over and maybe I'll lay a log in this gap here and the log comes down so the turtles in the pond are gonna climb up and sunbathe, but there'll be a big basking rock here, but all the way around we're gonna have stones and you know some kind of creation i have to do something with this wall some of these are not high enough to keep the turtles from plopping out um, obviously slinky is going to be able to move in and out as he wants but i want to keep the turtles in here so i'll come up with something to barricade that yeah so it's uh it's slow going but it's going and um I'll see you in a minute we'll see if there's anything uh, more to do or show you on the next day Okay, so I've got all the diamond lath on. I've got the wire on the pond. Um, you know, this stuff right here is going to become, hopefully, naturalistic looking boulders, man made, of course. And uh, I got to tell you, this was uh, a tedious process. And I don't know if you could see, but it cuts your hands up. You should wear gloves. But it's hard for me to mold the lath with gloves, but you should do that because uh, my hands are chafed little micro cuts it's horrible i'm gonna wash up now take a break uh, and this whole afternoon i'm hoping to get an entire scratch coat and that's i'm, I'm very um optimistic because i don't know if i'll be able to get all the crete all the mud on there but i want to get my scratch coat get that down and then the next few days is just going to be the detail work and so fingers crossed we'll see what happens i don't know all uh, right, here's another update, everybody. Uh, some of you wanted to see what's been going on. We're mixing cement right now. And uh, yeah, man, I need to add a little more water. Just a little bit. Add a little water if it's too dry. You want that cement workable, right? 
And if it gets too wet, you just throw a little more dry materials in there. But let me show you what, what's happening. Um, also, another exciting thing is I got a brand new hat all the way from Australia. Shout out to Colin Schumark for mailing this bad boy all the way from Oz. It's a doozy, this hat. Uh, anyway, here's what's going on. So I'm putting what's called a scratch coat right now. Uh, and it's starting to take shape. These are gonna be boulders. You gotta go all the way around and down. That's the first coat, second coat. Water, please. Thank you, my love. Gotta have a little buddy bringing you water anyway. Um, yeah, the scratch coat goes on first. It's very time consuming. It is a little bit laborious, but um, once that's all done, I'm gonna come back and start beautifying it with some high quality cement mix and uh that's it man all right so um update there it is see you soon all right so i'm getting uh eaten alive by some mosquitoes and uh the swamp angels are getting me but here is where i'm at um i didn't quite finish the entire scratch but um you can see the boulders are taking shape uh, I'm going to go over it with a colored cement tomorrow morning. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to finish the first layer of cement. But I got the forms of the boulders pretty much done. Uh, lots of work, man. Holy crap. Uh, we're going to have plants in here. I'm going to have a little plant there. A log is going to lay down here. And we'll have a plant there. And possibly plants here and here. I don't know yet. But um, it's pretty cool, it's fun, a lot of work. Got a new hat today, stoked on that. Um, came from Australia. This is the Akubra Sombrero. This is a badass hat that you can only get in Oz. <laughs> anyway, I'm digging it. Um, all right, well, hell, uh, I'm gonna call it a night, man. Gonna wash you up. The old lady's bring some pizza home. Good times. Talk to you tomorrow for more all right so uh, I got the scratch coat completely on this whole thing has been you know kind of covered in concrete and now I am doing the carving uh, the first few boulders we have to go all the way around like this all the way around the coping of the pond but what I do is and I was taught this by my buddy Mark Colette at Artistic Stone Company. Basically, I get my colored concrete, I, I mix it, I color it, I put it on the forms that we made. And right now it's still wet. I draw preliminary lines, I texture it a little bit, and then I, I will come back here in an hour or two and really start to carve this. Uh, and it'll really look very naturalistic. Um, it's going to look really cool. And this is going to go with the whole way around. So. It's going to be quite a job. I won't be able to finish it all today, but um, I'll get these carved up. So there you have uh, yet another step. All right, Slinky has been let out because cement has hardened. It's been colored. Here is a look at the pond. I colored the boulders. Uh, we have all the way around. We got our boulders set up. There's Slinky Poo. He's checking things out. He's a good boy. But anyway, I uh, just need to get a membrane. I'm hoping to use this product called uh, Pond Shield. And I'm going to put that on my cement and that will seal it. And it will be dope. So here is the pond. Look, I even have a little bouldery stepping stone in case I ever want to go into it or if Slinky needs to climb up that. But real stoked on that check out that boulder <laughs> i don't know man i just love that i think it looks pretty cool so uh just showing you what i've been up to for the last week but anyway it's been a lot of fun right slinky i got an email here i need to hold on to slinky's a good kid you deserve the best child i love you i do love you he thinks this is a rat hey slink I just got done saying I love you. Pain in the neck. Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lunatic. Pawn for Slinky. See you soon.
You record? So I'm really excited guys because I got this product from my friends over at Pond Armor. It's their Pond Shield uh, Waterproof Epoxy. And what's so great about this and why I'm excited to use this as opposed to just having, you know, a non-waterproof cement pond is because, you know, cement can be really hard on the animal's feet. Uh, my lizard not so much, but I am planning on putting some turtles in this pond. And I just don't want them to rub their feet. And this product is fantastic because it's waterproof, it's non-toxic, uh, so it doesn't hurt fish or other wildlife. And what's great is if cracks develop inside my pond, because I'm not exactly the greatest stonemason on earth, but uh, or cement, uh, using cement, but anyway, if, if cracks do develop, the elasticity of this uh, epoxy will fill in those little cracks that may happen and keep the water going. So I gotta mix this stuff up, and then I'm gonna apply, and I gotta apply quick. Uh, this stuff sets pretty quick, so you, you gotta make sure you mix up a batch of it that you can handle and get spread out quick enough, or else you're just gonna lose the entire batch. And take it from me, I may have lost a batch uh, in the past. Uh, so you wanna just work with an amount that's easy for you. So I'm really excited, guys, because to be perfectly honest, this pond is probably the craziest thing I've ever created for my animals. And what's really neat about it is, I gotta tell you a quick story. You may find it boring, I don't know, maybe you'll be inspired by it. But, you know, a while back I kinda hit some hard times, man. And I had to take some work with my buddy, and thank goodness I had a close friend like my buddy Mark Collette at Artistic Stone. And I actually worked with cement. I was helping do driveways and all sorts of other things. And the, the unseen benefit of that was I learned something that is actually helping me with my animals. I learned how to use concrete. I learned how to be a little bit more artistic and really flex those muscles. So just take that in consideration. It's just a little, a little story I wanted to tell you guys because you may think you're not learning anything or a job isn't giving you kind of the things you need in life, but if you are smart and pay attention to it, you're getting an education that you'll be able to apply to something you really love. And I gotta tell you, I love working with this cement. It's opened up my entire world view, man. I am gonna cover the entire of Camp Kennan with really cool structures for my animals to enjoy. So this is the final step. I'm actually gonna be mixing in the part A of the pond shield. And uh, you know, it's important, again, the directions, uh, they have great instructions and they also have a 1-800 number right on their can. They can answer any questions you may have, but I, I'm really enjoying working with this and very excited to see the finished product. And it comes in a myriad of colors also. I chose gray. I didn't want it to be black in the hot Florida summers. It might just be too hot, that black. But uh, I chose gray because it's a nice earthy tone and I think it will look good. You can still see the animals at the bottom uh, of the pond. So I'm just gonna mix this all in now, get a good thorough mixture, and then I'm gonna get to spreading quick. So try and keep up with me, will you? And I'm talking to Tom back behind the camera there. We're gonna be working hard here. All right, guys, but I'm really stoked on this, man. All right, so this is it. Let's get to work. We're gonna spread this stuff out. So we're gonna take it over here. Got what I'm going to use to spread this around, and what I have to do is I have to work quick. So that's why I'm mixing up small batches. I want to work from the top down. So what we want to do is kind of, well, we're hucking and hoping. Here we go. We're just going to kind of spread this good stuff around. Just spread it around. Just like this. And what we'll do is we're going to then go over it again, and we're going to touch it up. So I don't want you to freak out. We're gonna touch this all up and I gotta spread it out nice and easy just like this. And then any pieces that I've missed, I'm actually gonna be able to come on over and get with a brush. Let's get some over here. So it's all about getting this stuff on fast. And as it pools, not a problem. We also wanna make sure that the entire thing is covered in the proper, the proper thickness as well and they have a nice gauge that they've supplied for me and I want to kind of touch this area up be careful when I touch that up because I don't want that to get clogged up with any of this epoxy because that's my drain and it's getting close oh no we'll get it but a little of this goes a long way as you can see and it kind of pools and puddles but you can spread it just like that still going 
And the touch up process is gonna be extremely important so that I get every inch of this pond covered properly. It's a little bit messy, but when it is done, we are gonna have a beautiful enclosure. And I already love this color, man. I'm just gonna pull this out here. Just gently push some of it like that. And then we're gonna mix again. All right, let's just get to work. Nothing better to do on a Thursday afternoon in 90 degree weather than spread epoxy around your pond. <laughs> just kidding. Good times. And also, we gotta make sure we don't clog yes. up that drain, so in goes the PVC pipe. I decided to switch to a paint roller as it was much quicker to apply the pond armor. We are cruising now. My new favorite hat. Can't lose that. Alright, now I can get real serious. Watch how serious I get here, boys and girls. This is why staying fit is important when playing with reptiles and always be limber. Whose bright idea was this? Now a little touch up with the paintbrush and then I apply the clear pond armor to the boulders that are going to be under the water line. All right, so I'm really excited because this is it, man. We are filling it up. Just rinsing down some of the rocks because Slinky was digging around in here after my pond shield has cured. So right now, we're just giving it a good rinse. And basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna just wait, fill it on up, and the next thing you're gonna see is Slinky swimming around in his brand new pool. So I'm really excited to see him get on in here and experience it. And I think you guys will be psyched with the way this animal moves around in the water. All right, guys, so we're gonna get Slinky out. Come on, Slinky. You just gotta be careful. I'm teasing him out because he thinks my hand's food, but it's not. Come here, Slinky boy. We've done it. We've got your place ready for you. So the thing is with Slinky, sometimes Slinky can be a little temperamental as you have seen in the past. But you know, we want to make sure that he doesn't uh, bite anyone here, namely my cameraman. Come on, Slink. Look, there's water. You can swim in it. That's right, buddy. Come here. Don't bite me. He's been digging too. He might smell, I took some chicken out. I'm gonna give him some chicken later once it thaws out. But let's see. Slinky has been in a good mood lately and we've been working on our trust together. So what I would like to do is try and pick him up. Let's see if that'll work. Hey buddy. And I'm just gonna put him over by the pond and get him going. Easy my friend. These are not chickens. Come here. You in a good mood? Oh, he's in a good mood. See this? Lots of trust we've been building here at Camp Kennan with Slinky and I. Come on, Slink, go check it out. This is it, boys and girls. We're gonna see Slinky do a little swimming. Go on, man, it's ready for you. You're a water monitor. Oh, this is so cool, guys. I think you're really gonna love this. What's the matter, you don't wanna go in? Maybe the water's a little cold, I don't know. All right, we're gonna help Slinky along. Come on, buddy, get in there. There you go. How do you like that, people? This is how these animals are supposed to behave, man. They're supposed to have some nice water to swim in. I mean, what good is a water monitor if there's no water? There he goes. Doing a little lap. Awesome, man. 
Nice. What's up, buddy? Well, there you have it. Slinky's watering hole, man. We're going to let him get used to it. Right? He's just been becoming such a much more calm lizard. And I think that's because of the space and you allow them to get to know you rather than you press yourselves on them. But believe it or not, I'm not even close to done with Slinky's home yet. I have a lot more that I want to do to all the enclosures here at Camp Cannon. You gonna walk out, bud? Go ahead. We know how much Tom likes you. Go say hello to Tom. Son of a... Yeah, it'll be all right, Tom. Not a problem. See, so he's just gonna come out and explore, so I'm gonna leave you guys with some shots of Slinky exploring. And uh, hey, I'm happy. We built a really nice enclosure for him. And I can't wait because there are gonna be some turtle species living in here too. So stay tuned for more excitement here at Camp Kennan and Slinky's enclosure. We'll see you next time. Come on, Slink, get back in the water, it's great. My buddy. Get a drink. Oh, look, he's in a sunbed. <laughs> it's got a nice little bed there. The beach. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Let's go swimming. I think I freaked him out. <laughs> he knows I don't belong here. It's kind of cold, too. Come on, buddy. It's slippery too. Nah, I guess he doesn't like me in his pool. That's not bad. Come on, Slink. Anyway, glad you sticked around. See ya.